Hello. In this video, I'm going to go over recording over the air programming using a Silicon Dust HD Home Run HDTC 2 US uh, on the command line in Linux. To get started, we're going to need to find out the IP address of our HD Home Run. So, what we need to do is install the HD Home Run config app. We'll type sudo apt get install hd home run dash config. Okay, and I already have that installed. So then we'll type hd home run dash config discover. And my IP address is listed here. So copy this. And then we can go to a web browser paste in this address and what you want to do is go to channel line up here and uh, detect your channels and you can see the channels I have here so I'm gonna choose a channel and I'm gonna choose 11.1 uh, so now the next step is to um, install uh, AT so we'll say sudo app get install AT that's already installed and then we'll need to install curl sudo app get install curl and that's already installed uh, these I already installed these ahead of time on your system they probably will not be installed so in order to uh, record video we're going to use the uh, AT command to schedule a recording um, so we'll type at and it's 1233 well let's look at the date uh, it's 1233 uh, we'll type at 12.34 and then we're going to say curl output desktop video.ts and then I'm going to copy and paste this in here and I'll explain it in a second. Then I'm going to type control D and then that will schedule the, this job to run at uh, 1234. And uh, so what I have here is a uh, curl uh, will download this video. Uh, dash O is the output file. So we're saying write this to uh, video.ts on the desktop. And then we're going to uh, direct it to HTTP colon slash slash our IP address colon five zero zero four slash auto slash V and then our channel which was eleven point one and then we're gonna say uh, do a question mark transcode equals and then I chose internet 720 over here on the left of the screen I put the transcode options you can use which is mobile heavy internet 540 internet 480 internet 360 internet 240 and then we're going to do ampersand and duration equals and the number of seconds. So this is saying record for 30 seconds. A um, couple things to note here is that you do want to have this in quotes here. Otherwise it will screw up because you have an ampersand in here. It will try and uh, turn it into a background, background process. And once you type this command in, then you type control D to exit out of AT. And then uh, if you want to see... Uh, you know what you have in the ATQ type ATQ we don't have anything in there now because it already ran and that will show you also you can type in man AT and uh, the man file will tell you different ways you can format the uh, time and other information so at this point this has run so we're going to change directory into the desktop and we see the file here and it's about you know 7.7 .7 megabytes and we'll also see that on the desktop now we can view this uh, TS file using a VLC player we'll drag this on to VLC and then we can double click it okay and then also if you want to uh, re-encode this you can use handbrake uh, so I've installed handbrake so I'll open that up and uh, we check source desktop and then our 
video.ts file. And then we go over to devices here. We can say we want to encode this for an iPod. Um, and we want to put this on the desktop. I'll name it video underscore iPod. And then we'll hit start. And it's encoding right now. And now it's finished. So we'll close that. And on the desktop now we'll see video iPod MKV. If we double click that it'll open. And there you go. So what you can do is you can uh, schedule um, programming. You know you want to you need to look at it. There's no guide on here, so you need to uh, find out when the programming is scheduled for. Use the AT command to set up the time, and then use the correct URL um, to capture that. Uh, a couple different tips here are uh, I would try this on the command line, just the curl command. Uh, before you put it into the AT command to make sure you have the formatting correct. Um, also, it's not a bad idea to start your recording two minutes prior to the start time and then have it record until two minutes after the start time. So if you have a recording that starts at 11.30, you should probably start it at 11.28. And if it ends at noon, you should uh, end it at 12.02. So. Uh, if you have any questions about this, please leave your questions in the comments, and thanks for watching.